Dear friends, I welcome you to the ninth day of our Marian Reflection for the month of May 2022. Our theme remains from the sorrows and tears of Mary today to the heart of Jesus. While our topic for today is for a humanity full of superstition and fear. We reflect from Luke chapter 1 verse 30 and I read, And the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Dear ones, the natural instinct of preservation and survival can always instill some form of defense and reaction from us when we suddenly burst into a rare occurrence, especially while awake. One can easily understand how Mary must have felt, dazzled with the light from the angel and met with such a strange greeting. But with the explanation from the angel, all fear was gone. Mary embraced not just the visitation, but also the message accompanying it. All fear was gone. She was ready, emboldened, and had no iota of doubt for the words spoken to her from God through his messenger. Child of God, our Blessed Mother is our comfort and refuge. She feels so sad when we choose fear and worse still, superstition over her son's grace and promises. She covers us daily with her virginal mantle, yet we resort to unfounded fear and superstition in our relationship with God. Her grief flows from the way her children at slightest unrest, abandons the ship even with Christ at the ruder. She is so worried we compromise at trials and tribulations of life. How earnestly Mary wants us to abandon ourselves, fears, worries, anxieties into the hands of God as she did. Mary knows that perfect love drives out all fear and she was that masterpiece of the perfect love for God. She willingly assists us who need that perfect and close relationship with Christ, her Son, and she does this in a most profitable manner for us. For the many times we have disconnected out of fear and have embraced the false promises of the devil, or to serve ego and pride, through waywardness of life, bound to pressure, subjecting our bodies to desecration and defilement for the sake of marriage in order to escape loneliness and pains. Our Blessed Mother wishes to assist us. For the many times we have resorted to anger and malice due to life's disappointments, personal past experiences, unrepeated love for one spouse. Our Blessed Mother also bears our sorrow, pains, disappointments. She knows how well we wish to change and return to faith and confidence in God's love and promises. Her greatest desire is to link us back to Christ if we permit her to do so. Mary is ever ready to help us. Dear rest in Christ, in the reality of her son's passion, death and resurrection, Mary presents us daily to the divine for healing, consolation and strength. All she desires is that we rise to our duties, functions and practices holding firm to our faith, teachings and admonitions. She desires we remove all forms of fear and doubt in our lives as we go about our daily duties and answer the call to our vocations. She desires we rise to prayer, self-denial, good deeds and sincere love for the other. 
from which we build a firmer foundation in the love and promises of Christ. Let us pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. O Mary, in your tears I take refuge. I strongly believe in the assurance of faith laid down by Christ, handed over from generations to generations, through the apostles, down to the present church's magisterium. Help me by your intercession to remain fearless in all circumstances of life. Help me to trust more in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Remember to make our time to attend and participate in the Eucharist today. Remember to say at least five decades of the Rosary today. And may Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.